This is what's left of a local mosque in central Gaza. Palestinian officials say an Israeli strike on Sunday hit the mosque and a school in Deir al-Bala, which was sheltering displaced people. At least 19 people were killed and dozens of others injured. They said all the residents of Gaza should go to the safe area in the south, Khan Yunus and elsewhere. But there is no safe area or anything. Israel is also reportedly setting its sights again on northern Gaza, with a possible offensive on the way in the Jabalia refugee camp over concerns that Hamas militants have started to regroup there. We just want ceasefire. People are dying. And where do we go? To the south? We can't walk. People are sick. How can we go south? Where shall we be taken? Since the start of the Israel-Hamas war last October, there has been an immense ripple effect on civilians in Gaza. According to the territory's health ministry, Israel's subsequent military assault in Gaza has killed nearly 42,000 Palestinians. Nearly all of the enclave's 2.3 million people have been displaced and thrown them into a deep humanitarian crisis. Protests have erupted around the globe in support of Palestinians from Turkey to Spain ahead of the October 7th anniversary, calling for a more long-lasting ceasefire. Today, the children in Palestine see bombs even in their dreams. They live with bombs even in their dreams, and I'm here today because I cannot sit comfortably in my home when they live like this. No excuse to kill children and civilians and destroy houses and universities for nothing. We have a right in this land, and we're staying, we're not moving. A temporary ceasefire lasted only a few days last November, and despite international mediated efforts for another agreed-upon pause in violence, one has not surfaced, and deadly near-daily strikes in Gaza continue. All that serves as the backdrop of Israel's apparent new military front in Lebanon against Hezbollah. Unfortunately, many instances of violations of international humanitarian law in the way the airstrikes are conducted that have destroyed or damaged civilian infrastructure, have killed civilians, have impacted humanitarian operations. Israel and the Iran-backed militant group have traded fire across the Lebanon border almost daily since the Hamas cross-border attack, but it's recently escalated. According to the Lebanese health ministry, Nearly 2,000 people have been killed in the country in this latest conflict, most of them since late last month. Evacuation flights from Beirut have also increased in recent days, as many people, including this Brazilian student, escape the bloodshed. The first thing I want to do is hug my little sisters and my mom and my dad. I felt there in Lebanon that I would never see them again. That was the hardest. According to the UN Refugee Agency, an estimated 1.2 million people have been displaced. And as the Israeli strikes intensify, the UN Refugee Chief stresses that Lebanon cannot become another Gaza. Unfortunately, we know what a conflict like this causes to a civilian population. It's horrible. And uh, we see all the catalog of those consequences played out here in Lebanon. Afia Ba, City News.